After his election to the papacy, John XXIII quickly became known as the Good Pope by Christians who worked closely with him and knew him personally. Largely recognized for convoking the Second Vatican Council, John XXIII was also known for his simple charity that endured throughout his papacy and had a lasting impact on the Church. The good Pope made simple but important changes. He started the tradition of publicly reciting the Angelus from the window of the Apostolic Palace on Sundays and offering pilgrims a short catechesis. As Pope and Bishop, John XXIII also wanted to be near the faithful. He was the first Pope to leave the walls of the Vatican to visit parishes, hospitals, and prisons around Rome. At times, he would even sneak past the Swiss Guard to walk around the city alone. John XXIII courageously chose the name of an anti-pope from the 15th century, and by doing so, redeeming it. Cardinal Roncalli had no fear to take the name of an imposter, which had been avoided for 500 years. During his pontificate, John XXIII witnessed two world wars that divided the world in two opposing political regimes. He recognized the need to build bridges of peace and even exchanged letters with world leaders like the head of the Soviet Union. For the first time in history, John XXIII addressed not only Catholics but all people of goodwill in his encyclical letter titled Pacem in Teres. The encyclical strongly argued against the use of weapons as a means to justice. Only a few months after his election to the papacy, John XXIII announced a consistory to create nine new cardinals, more than half of which were not Italian. He appointed cardinals from Japan, Africa, the Philippines, and Venezuela, offering a greater representation within the Curia. Without a doubt, the major work of John XXIII was convening the Second Vatican Council, a meeting of all bishops from around the world to study and discuss the situation of the Church, and so an elderly pontiff considered to be a transitional pope carried out one of the most profound changes in the Church in modern times. John XXIII also embraced dialogue between Christians and all other denominations, even inviting Muslims, American Indians, and members of various Christian denominations as observers to the Second Vatican Council. He also established the First Vatican Department to promote unity among Christians. Upon his death, crowds chanted sainthood now as they paid their last respects, a gesture that would be seen again years later at the death of John Paul II. And now both these popes will continue their common history as they are elevated to the sainthood together this Sunday.